I'm writing checks today. I have to write 127 checks. This guy, James Knudsen, I think that's how you pronounce his name, $798.56. He's in my cash flow program. I told people to get into this. I'm already mailing out, like I said, 127. My goal was, well, my goal is a million people. I'm going to show how to make their first dollar online, hopefully a lot more. This is just one week for him, okay? So, but I want to dissect. I'm going to explain something to you because people are always asking me how to make money online, how I make money online. I'm going to show you one way. I'm going to give you three practical steps based around one guy who I've sent $680,000 to since 2015. I pay him every two weeks. He's not an employee. He doesn't work for me. He's an affiliate partner. I'm going to show you, it's, his name is David J. Woodbury. I'm going to show you the David J. Woodbury uh, formula, three-step formula that I that he knows and I trained him and he trained himself in. Okay, so three steps. How can you start earning checks? Okay, legitimate ways. Number one thing you have to know is that affiliate revenue is legit. Let me give you an example. Because a lot of people think, oh, affiliate marketing, that's sketchy. Every athlete you know Anthony Davis, LeBron James just got signed by the uh, Anthony Davis just got signed by the Lakers. Messi, Ronaldo, Serena Williams, they make more money from endorsement deals than they do from their contract. I, I, I know Anthony Davis and I just sent him a DM when he got signed to the Lakers last week or a couple days ago. He wrote back, you know, he knows I'm LA native. And I was thinking, he's got a hundred million dollar contract, more than a hundred million, but that's not how he's gonna make most of his money. People want to play in L.A. because of the endorsement deals. But you have to be a celebrity, basically, to get endorsement deals. So it's not realistic. I can't take a million people and show them how to make, become, you know, celebrity endorsers. You're not going to have a million celebrities in the world. But, look, endorsement is the same as affiliate. It's the same thing. It's the same basic thing. 90% of people who start a business. They go, Ty, I want to be an entrepreneur. 90% bankrupt in five years. That's the real statistics. You can read the book, The E-Myth Revisited. The research shows the average person who tries to build everything from scratch fails. Here's why. To build a business, you have to build around the four Ps. You have to develop four things at one time, four battles, four wars at the same time. You have to have product development. You got to make a good product. You have to have the pricing financial structure built. You have to raise capital or invest your own capital, do the accounting, do the legal setup. Then you have to do promotions, which is composed of sales and marketing. You have to build a marketing team, a sales team. You've got to front money because usually you don't break even on day one. Then you have to have placement of the product, right? So that's website. You have to have tech developers, programmers, a C CTO, ideally a chief infrastructure officer. On top of that, you have to have customer support, ideally 24-7. So you're talking right here to start from scratch. You've got to build out one, two, three, four, five, six modules on day one to build a successful business. But so the reason I know Anthony Davis is I helped him promote. He had a clothing line um, affiliation with Nordstrom's. So he didn't have to start a store. He didn't have to start a brand. He just did an, a collab with Nordstrom's. And then he used his influence, his followers, to promote it, and he got paid. I don't know if he got paid up front or a percentage of profits. That's the same model you should be doing without being a celebrity. Now, look, you might follow a lot of people online and this and that, and it's not about who you follow. I never wanted to be a social media influencer, ever. I only did social media because it worked. It was the quickest, easiest way, cheapest way to reach a lot of people. You used to have to do a TV show or you know, become a movie star or things like that. Now, social media, anybody can do it. But forget, I'd delete all my social media if I hit my goal. And my goal was when I found my five mentors growing up without mentors, um, I said to myself, I had a little prayer. I was like, if you help me, God, then I will pass it on to other people. And I'm trying to fulfill that. And so social media is just a means to an end. So be careful just because you follow people who talk a lot about business. I'm trying to get my followers to have checks in their pocket from me and from other sources. That's all that matters to me. And I see people, and there's a lot of good 
business influencers online, but there's a lot of people that just talk and it's about growing their own following and it's about getting them a lot of attention. Great, whatever. That's not my goal. That's not my vision. So what I'm trying to tell you now here is why I'm on this live call and because I'm seeing results. I haven't even had this program open for a week, 127 people who have basically never made money online. I'm sending them checks all around the world too. Only about a half of them are in the US. Some of them are so young that they have to get their parents. We have to pay their parents. They did it with their parents. They're like 16 years old. You know, they live in India or they live in South America, whatever. I don't, we don't even, I don't even never even met these people. It's legitimate because affiliate partnerships are available by the thousands. Just nobody ever taught you that. If you're in school, did anybody ever tell you that? Nope. College, you have an MBA. Did your professor teach you about affiliate partnerships? Because celebrities have been making 50 to $100 million a year every year doing endorsement deals, which are just affiliations. That's it. That's it. Why do you think Nike's so big? YouTube didn't, is, are we live on YouTube? It's not on? Okay, YouTube is a little crazy, but whatever. Um, so at the end of the day, um, yeah, are you getting checks from online revenue? That's, I guess, what I wanted to ask you. So let me go here on Facebook. Um, somebody wrote, the laws of leadership is bullshit. Is that a book or something? Never heard of it. My man, Ty Lopez, I'm far from average and actually man with the plan. <laughs> These comments come in. Okay, so let's just keep going through this. That's number one. You can just post this to YouTube later, Frank. I mean, if you can't get it live, is it just YouTube glitchy today? The joys of social media. Number two thing you have to know, number two, very simple, is that... Um, once you understand that affiliate marketing is legit and every celebrity is doing it anyway, then you go, how can it work? How can you make it work if you're not a celebrity? Because the nature of the celebrity game is not many people can be celebrities. That's the definition of celebrity. Somebody who's the one in a one million people. You could never have everybody being a celebrity, right? So what do you learn from, what can we take from that model and apply? Well, simple, you need a following. You must develop a following. And I have friends that you've never heard their name. They're not celebrities at all, but they have a following. They have 1,000 people. They have 10,000 people. I'm not talking about Instagram followers. You can have followers, but not a following. I know people. I see people. It's funny. It's like I see people in fitness and all this stuff, on, for example, on Instagram, and they have 300,000 followers or a million followers. Well, it's not a following. It might be people admiring them, but a following is somebody is, is a group that believes enough in you and understands your authority enough that they actually follow you. So if you say, I'm Ronaldo, I wear Nikes. I'm LeBron James, I wear Nikes. People go, then I got to wear Nikes. That's a following. People staring at you. You know, I say it's like, if you're really good looking and you post pictures and people like your picture, they're not following you. They might be admiring your looks, but that's what you think is a following. You think you have authority with them? Authority comes from what's in between your ears, from having a brain, or in the case of athletes, winning. People follow winners. They follow, follow people who are above ordinary, who are on a track, who are going for something. And it's always been that way, from horrible dictators to the most you know, uh, uh, egal, uh, uh, well, <laughs> dict I don't want to put them in the same category, but all leaders, I was going to say dictators and politicians. Some ways there's a lot of crossover there. But um, people who do charity, people who do humanitarian things, they have followings. Mahatma Gandhi had a, had a following. People listen to him. Now, I'm not saying you have to be at a celebrity following level. What I'm saying is there are people willing to follow your journey right now. So the first thing that I would do to develop a following is under, and what David J. Woodbury did is through video marketing. So the simplest thing to do with video marketing, is, this is what he did. He did a review 
of one of my products. I gave him an affiliate tracking link. He did a, he knew how to optimize it in YouTube. Remember, YouTube's the second largest search engine in the world. Coincidence, Google's number one and Google owns YouTube and YouTube's number two. They have a lot of power in their algorithm. And so he was able to get his video about my product to the top when people search. So you have to understand keywords, you have to understand, you have to have a good title, you have to understand thumbnails. Thumbnails need to be the right brightness is very important. They need to have a mixture of text. They need to be pattern interrupts. They need to be things that like they catch your attention. So it can't just be a picture of you smiling. I mean, maybe if you're the most beautiful person in the world or something like that, but in general, you need to have, if you look at top influencers, how they do their thumbnails, they're usually interruption patterns to basically disrupt the monotony of scrolling through a YouTube ad. And then people go, oh, I wanna click on that. Good titles, you have to look at titles that have already gone viral and adjust them to your own. They need to have an opening, uh, they need to have a strong hook in the opening of the video because people aren't gonna wait to the fifth or 10th minute to really get involved. You either hook them in the first 10 seconds or nothing. So David J. Woodbury, who's a shy guy, a quiet guy with no social media following, has made 650 grand profit, by the way, that's not gross. I paid him five to $10,000, I look back, I've never even met the guy. Five to 10 grand a month, every single, well, I pay him every other week, every two weeks, and um, he's living the life. He bought an RV and him and his wife are currently traveling around America. He doesn't have anywhere to be, he just enjoys life and he gets checks and it's almost completely on autopilot because if you can get a good YouTube video to rank where you're reviewing something, it'll stick for a while because it starts getting momentum and then the algorithm favors it because it's getting a lot of momentum. That's how the algorithm works. There is this guy, Ryan, kid, Ryan's Toys. He was seven years old last year. He made $22 million. All he did, video reviews of toys. He had an affiliate link. He said, go buy the toy. Um, he eventually white labeled his own toy line and said go buy it but 22 million bucks that's good money through content marketing so video if you're extrovert video is great even if you're an introvert now um, number three is you need to build an email list old school but man my email list I started with a hundred people in 2012 it, uh, sorry ten people ten of my closest friends and I said Hey, forward this to your friends. Within a month, I had 100 people. Then it went to 1,000 a few months later. And I've never looked back from that time. In that email list, I could retire. I now have millions of people on my email list. People unsubscribe, new people join. It's, it's like a game of growth and you know, subtraction. But the point is, how did I do it? You can follow my formula. You go out, buy your domain name. If your name is Bob Smith, buy, go to Namecheap or GoDaddy. Buy BobSmith.com. Buy your own name. You should own your own name, by the way. If you have a, a common name, you might have to add like official or the number one or something like that. If you are uh, have a weird name, like Arnold Schwarzenegger had a crazy name. If he wasn't a celebrity and he was buying his domain name, nobody would have taken Arnold Schwarzenegger. So for me, Ty Lopez was easy to buy. I bought Ty Lopez for $7, okay? And that domain name has made over 100 million bucks. Pretty good investment. Seven bucks. I think I bought it maybe 2009 or something, a decade ago. Seven dollars. So, um, Apco Rojas is saying, Ty, why can't we take PayPal? PayPal. Hate PayPal. All you, <laughs> any entrepreneur who's ever used PayPal regrets it later. <laughs> it might have been great when Elon Musk built it, not anymore. So, we can use Venmo, even though some of these are owned by the same companies, but. Um, yeah, we have other ways. You can contact or chat, live chat. Apco Rojas. You don't have to type the same comment 4,000 times. But there's your answer. Um, so the third thing is email marketing. You buy your domain, step A, B step. Then you need to put it somewhere. So you can either do WordPress, you can do Wix, some things like that. Um, a lot of people use ClickFunnels. I'm coming out with my own software soon that I've, been, I've used for my own websites for over 10 years. But you can use uh, ClickFunnels. I'm actually an affiliate for ClickFunnels. If you wanna see affiliate marketing in action, I'm doing content marketing, I'm training, I'm giving you good advice and I'm throwing in links that I get paid for. So if you wanna go to tylopez.com slash, click, uh, slash ClickFunnels, you, I think they have a trial 
free trial too. So you use that to make your website landing page. You connect it to your Bob Smith or Jennifer Jones or whatever. And then C, you want to have a video on the landing page with a headline above it, strong headline, preferably a sub headline below it. Then you want to have a CTA call to action below that video saying, join my email list. Now, the big question is nobody likes to join email lists. So why would somebody want to follow you? Well, because you're going to give them value. And the, if you have a hobby, if you have a skill, anything, cooking, if you've traveled a lot of places, somebody wants to follow you. One of my mentors, Alan Nation, said, Ty, the beauty of the world, having seven and a half billion people, is no matter what you're into, no matter what you're into, so are at least a million people. I mean, you could be into the weirdest, you can have the weirdest, most obscure skills. A million people are like, oh, I have that skill, or I have that interest. I mean, it, there's people who are interested in speed walking, which to me is like what my uncle was into speed walking. The, you know that one where you walk real weird and you look, it's kind of like bizarre. Well, there's a million people. You could build a following around that. You could build a, you can build a following. Are you going live on YouTube? Yeah. Well, I was going to say, if you want to, I think don't go live on YouTube. Sure. Yeah. Cause I think we'll just upload it after okay. it's fine. Cause then I'll be halfway through. Um, so now you have to connect it to an email service, I forgot to say. I recommend for affiliate marketing, now you can use companies like affiliate, uh, Infusionsoft, MailChimp, things like that, but not all of them like affiliate marketing. So um, GetResponse is one that I know is user friendly. I'm actually an affiliate for them. I don't make much money, but if you wanna use my affiliate link or you don't have to, just tylopez.com slash GetResponse. They'll manage your email list because there's laws, can span laws, Europe has all these GDRP weird laws. So these companies keep you legally compliant or else you're gonna get a huge fine. You can get massive fines for spamming people. Uh, $10,000 per email you send incorrectly. So you sign up, you connect it to your ClickFunnels or your Wix or your um, WordPress, whatever, okay? You've got your landing page. Now you wanna give them an incentive. Why? Follow my journey. People love following journeys. The Kardashians are big because people are following their journey. Even little dumb stuff. What socks are they wearing? What shoes are they wearing? What restaurant are they going for the day? Everything, they move the whole world because people are voyeuristic. People like to eavesdrop. People like to passively sit back and enjoy what, or critique what other people are doing. It goes both ways. So you can open up your life a little bit. If you're an introvert, just use your email list. Now, I, you need to email at least three times a week. Ideally, once a day is the ideal. But the good news is you can queue it up at the beginning of the month. You can write all your emails at the beginning of the month. All of them. Okay? By the way, for those of you, I'm going to put a link I extended this cash flow four month affiliate training. If you want me to work with you for the next four months, mentor you what I've learned about making money online and give you products to promote that you can start promoting literally today. Every Thursday I pay out, I'd like to send you a check. You can just go here to tylopez.com slash partner live. Okay? Or there should be a link in Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube below. Okay, now. How long should your emails be? I recommend a rotation. Rotate your emails. You want to have some real short, like one sentence. If you don't have time, you just write like, yo, I just landed in New York. I'm going to Central Park at midnight. Hopefully I don't get mugged. One sentence, it'll get a huge open rate. It doesn't look like a formulaic email, right? So then you want short, you want some medium length ones, and then once a week you want a long one. Keep people guessing, don't be predictable. That's another key to marketing and mastering affiliate partnerships. So right here in 18 minutes or so, I've laid out to you like literally David J. Woodbury's formula. Now there's a lot more to it. You probably wanna add a podcast. You want to um, get better SEO optimization so you can rank your YouTube videos, things like that. But all that I could trade you. But let me take some questions because I'm gonna go. I didn't plan to go live for very long here. But I wanna get right to the point and say, look, I got 126 more of these checks to write. This is a real check, by the way. That's not, this is not like a fake 
movie check. And uh, hold on one second. Anyway, questions. Uh, da, 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 da. Oops, Facebook's so weird with their comments. Yo, man, I want to be you one day. Don't be me. Like, look, <laughs> never, never want to be somebody else. It's, first of all, kind of stupid. Okay. Somebody said, stop blabbering and get to the part you try to sell something. Impregnation, vacation. Impregnation, you're slow, I already did it. You've already been sold. Sell or be sold. Remember that. Remember that. But if you don't wanna buy what I'm selling, great. Good. I do good content marketing, meaning you could take everything I just gave you and actually try this on your own. It'll be harder, but you can do it. For all of you who have a lot of pride and you're like, Ty, I'm a freaking genius. Aristotle, Plato, Socrates, morons compared to me. Okay, great. Then go do it on your own. Use that same formula because that one works. I can tell you that it works. I can tell you it worked for me. You can make a, more than 100 million bucks from a $7 investment in tyloverfeather.com. Okay, that's legit. That's not even the full number, but let's just say that. So uh, what's my opinion on drop shipping? Here's the thing about drop shipping. I told you to go into drop shipping in 2016. Why are you, why are you doing it now in 2018? You gotta ask yourself why you always slow to the game. You waiting for it to be saturated? That's like if there's a beautiful girl or some beautiful guy, whatever, and you're at a club or you're at a lounge, what are you gonna just wait till everybody else talks to her and you're gonna walk in last? Nah, they'll be taken. Every good thing gets taken by other people. So my question that people who ask me drop shipping, hey yo, it's 2019. I told people in 2016 to go into drop shipping. Anybody who's three years late to the game, unless you're like, you were like 15 and now you're 18 so you can legally start your own business. Anybody who wasn't 15 in 2016 or younger, you have no excuse. You're just a slow person. Really, I'm not trying to be mean. I'm just, I'm giving the lesson I wish somebody had told me, don't be slow. Drop shipping still can work. It's a hundred times harder now. My first students in 2015, Samir and Juan, they're making two grand a month each at a regular job. They, they followed me, got in my programs. They were doing $260,000 a month under 23 year old, making 60 grand sometimes a month profit. Why wasn't that you? Were you alive in 2015? Or were you part of that segment of planet earth that saw my videos and were like, oh, this isn't real. This is a scam. Well, I was teaching social media People were, people are too dumb to read between lines. People go, oh, Ty made this video about here in my garage, Lamborghini, like, oh, like, oh, this is annoying. Well, it, first of all, Taco Bell commercials are annoying. Like, I've been watching, you watch basketball games and the stupid Taco Bell commercial comes on, but it works. Everybody in America knows Taco Bell. The branding works. So I don't critique Taco Bell. I might change the channel, but... You got to ask yourself, where were you? Because there was a small segment of planet Earth who got what I was doing and they reaped the rewards. So just remember that all you slow people, that's fine. You're making other people rich. No problem. Don't, no problem. No problem. I guarantee you Jeff Bezos is very happy that in 1994, he was one of the only people in the world building a website. I promise you he's happy. Because if you try to start Amazon right now in 2019, good luck. You better have at least $500 million from investors on day one if you want to try to compete. Uh, or at least $300 million. Jet.com tried to compete with Amazon. The guy put $300 million of his own money to start. And he, was, he sold it nine months later for $3 billion. So he made money, but he had $300 million to start. But if you had started in 1994 or even in 2004, or even in 2006, you had a legitimate chance to compete with Amazon. I'm friends with Tom from MySpace. Um, he was in the game and Mark Zuckerberg came in, but Mark Zuckerberg wasn't the first, but he was early. Mark Zuckerberg started Facebook in whatever, 2002, 2003. Took him three or four years to catch MySpace, but by the way, he was a teenager when he did that, or basically a teenager. 
So ask yourself, what were you doing? People always go, oh, I'm broke. I'm like, well, what were you doing for the last decade? What were you doing for the last five years? Let me guess. You were pessimistically looking at the world and complaining about how the rich get richer. Um, you were complaining about how you should up taxes on people. Uh, maybe you were complaining about you were depressed. Now, de some depression's legitimate. Make, make no mistake, some of it's chemical. Some of it's just narcissism. Not all of it. So there is a segment of probably larger than you think of people who suffer from depression who, while it might be chemical, while it might be otherwise, if you understand how the body works, um, what comes first, the chicken or the egg? The narcissism or the depression? Because when you're narcissistic, everything is supposed to work out for you without you having to put a lot of effort. So you have a lot of people depressed about their life. Well, wake up in the morning tomorrow. Go to the gym. Read a book, build a little online business, let it fail and rebuild it again. Ray Dalio started it when he was young, built a hedge fund, 1983. He made a bet that the stock market would go one way, it went the other, he lost all his money, all the money for his clients, he had to lay off every single employee. He could have chosen to be depressed, but he learned meditation, he learned how to quiet his mind, he rebuilt, he's worth $21 billion today. He's one of the most respected business people. Because he wasn't so narcissistic to think, oh, this game of life, I'm owed something. Forget that. A lot of people misunderstand religion to think that there's this path that you're owed. I'm not going to get into the fatalism or nihilism versus, uh, you know, uh, religion and spirituality. But I will tell you this. My dad, stepdad was pretty religious, and he used to say, uh, believe in God, but wear your seatbelt. Meaning, it ain't like that. If you crash and you didn't put your seatbelt on, you can't be like, God, why do bad things happen to me? Well, God gave you a brain to put on a seatbelt, to take action and do the one step leads to the another. And people don't do that. And so they go, oh, tight. My life sucks. Well, what have you been doing the last 10 years? Anything that's an investment financially, anything is an investment in what you do. People ask me what I think about smoking weed. Well, if you're Snoop Dogg, it works because you're a rapper and you can make a lot of money, so smoke away. And the more you smoke, kind of the cooler it is. If you're trying to make money with your brain, go easy on the weed. Doesn't mean you can't ever smoke. I'm not one of, I don't, I'm not a hard line for or against weed, but don't do anything in excess. A little drinking is good. A lot of drinking makes you stupid and poor. You think Jeff Bezos is an alcoholic? You think anybody at the top's alcoholic? Think LeBron James is an alcoholic? No, these are performers. You have to perform in this game. So, um, doo -doo -doo, what should I do today if I can't get in the program? I always ask people, why can't you get in? I sell programs from between $1 and $1,000, $9.97. And people go, I can't afford it. And I'm going, I get it. There was a time when I had no money. But I had a lot of questions about myself. Where did I come to in this place that I don't have any excess money? I know where it comes from. It comes from usually a lack of discipline and a lack of forethought, period. Now, if you live in North Korea, it's different. If you live in an absolute, if you live in the slums of Mumbai, India, that's different. But for those of you, you probably don't have the phone and the internet to be watching this right now. So you're not an investor. You know, investors are the ones who make it in this game of life. And I'm not saying that I do everything right. I wish. I mean, a lot of the things that I'm talking about are critiques of myself at the same time, you know. So, all right. I'm going to get off here soon. That was my pep talk. Did, did Facebook go down? Let me see. I might have pressed. Oh, there. It's still there. All right. One or two last questions. Somebody said, my life rocks. Your life rocks. Great. Should you buy privacy protection with domain name? I do sometimes. I think Namecheap has it. It doesn't matter. Actually, it, my SEO friends say don't buy the privacy. It makes it rank a little better. Don't know if that's true. Okay, outbound marketing doesn't always work. Don't lie, Ty. I don't even know what you're talking about. What do you mean outbound marketing? 
Are you just making up terms? I'm just going to start making up terms. Uh, <laughs> French marketing doesn't work. Discombobulation, uh, cosmopolitan marketing doesn't work. What do you, all marketing is outbound. You can't just add words to be smart on my live. <laughs> I mean, you can. It's funny. I like the entertainment. It's free roasting. But what kind of marketing wouldn't be outbound? You mean like hidden marketing that you don't tell anybody about? That's You should do that. I hope you're my competitor in any industry. Ty, what I like to do, I like to launch a product, and I tell no one. And I wait for the money to roll in from no one. So, uh, Fetty Dawdon, that's probably not, uh, you probably shouldn't be teaching much about marketing. I want to make a movie, I don't care about being rich, Augustine Miguel. This isn't about being rich. What you have to do, Augustine Miguel, movies are mostly marketing. Not the best movies that make the most money, for sure. A lot of indie movies are amazing, but nobody hears about them. So once again... Uh, if you have the ability to understand what the internet basically, things can go very well for you. Um, Ty, why do millionaires want to keep working when they have enough to live on forever? People get bored. And what makes people a millionaire is often um, their drive. So they're not in it for the money as much as the game of life. Ty, what do you think on ClickBank products? Okay, I've had products on ClickBank. You know, why did, uh, what up, bro? You the best. Can I get a hey? What up, King Bray 06? King Bray, hey. I'm a rapper, man. I'm a DJ. Who should I partner with? That is not a good question. If that makes sense. You mean like you want to have a business partner in your DJ? Like two of you DJ together? Or are you saying affiliate partnership as a DJ? Music stuff. Some things are easier to be an affiliate partner with than others. Ty, what do you think about outsourcing sales companies? You mean launching your own or using one? What's my opinion on a mowing business? Lawn mowing? Hey, if you're like, if you're young, I mean any age, landscaping business, one of the guys who worked for me, he graduated from Duke, came to work for me in LA, he went on, I trained him. He learned marketing from me. He went on and started a company in Raleigh, North Carolina called Leaf and Limb Landscaping, and it's a multi, multi million dollar business. I think he's made 10 million bucks. Um, you know, he learned. It's all about what you know. You know nothing, you make nothing. How do you make money from nonprofit organization? Well, you can't really make nothing from nonprofit organizations. I mean, you can't really make a lot of money because the definition of nonprofit is something you don't really pay yourself a ton. If you're paying yourself a $2 million salary for your nonprofit, it's probably not a legit nonprofit. Takala Quilub said, Ty, Ty, don't charge people so much. Like a lot of people don't even have $100 extra after paying their bills and other expenses. I'll tell you what my mentor told me. He said, Ty, never overcharge, but never undercharge. Don't devalue yourself. If college is charging 20 grand a year and I'm giving 10 times more value, I can charge 997. And if someone has a problem with that, he's like, forget them. Those are the same people wasting their money on other stuff. Really. I don't buy that. There are poor people. I mean, look, I grew up, I remember my best friend was in the projects, Leon Champion. He died, rest in peace, died in prison. When we graduated from high school, I became an entrepreneur. He went to prison. Um, and so I've been around extreme poverty, man. And I can tell you that even he had designer label clothes because you find the money for what you really want in America for the most part. There are places that there's real poverty. I've been to places like in India and stuff where it's not the case, but yeah, that's just how I do it. And if you don't like it, you can just go to college or whatever the heck you want. I don't care. I don't care. At this point, I'm looking for that million people who get it. That means there's 7.4999999 billion people who I'm not going to be helping. And all those people who don't believe in the stuff I'm saying, go do it your way. I don't have all the answers. I'm not God. So that was great. If you think it's too, much, too expensive, then 
watch my free videos like right now because how much did you pay for this? Although you are making Mark Zuckerberg richer and richer and richer and richer. That's always a funny thing. People go, oh, Google's free. It ain't free. They're monetizing your eyeballs. So is YouTube. Monetizing your eyeballs. They're also a monopoly that cuts out other video uh, companies from even launching. So not only they're suppressing income. Don't, don't forget that. So are colleges, a lot of them. They, they, it's, you have to look big picture. Red pill, blue pill, just like the Matrix. A lot of people don't, can't see between the lines, you know. Ty, you've inspired me to keep reading. Good. The more you learn, the more you earn. Straight from Warren Buffett. That's advice from a man with $80 billion. He has $80,000 million. Rick, what would you do with $80,000 million? Ty, why don't you answer more questions? Haven't I been just answering questions nonstop? <laughs> Maybe people are, people sometimes are brain dead in the world as I'm answering questions. Ty, you should answer more questions. Ty, why don't you go live? <laughs> so somebody ask while I'm live. Ty, on your live, I was wondering why you don't go live. Okay. When are you coming to Africa? Good question. I have not been there. Apco says he makes 15 grand a month lawn mowing. Good, scale it up. Build a team underneath you. Build a marketing engine. Build a sales team that goes out and acquires new customer. Add on new products to be able to upgrade people and increase your LTV, your lifetime value. Question, what do you think about a sponsorship offer from a new business in a shared niche that has a new product that will be out to this fall? How, that was a lot of, uh, that was a lot of non-concrete things. Ty, how do I make money in something that doesn't exist, never will exist, but one day may exist? I do not have the answer for that. Rick, did you just tag me on Insta? I did. Ty, please always make live videos. I like them. Come to New Mexico. I should. Hold on one second, guys. Sorry. Any good questions you see, Frank? What do I think about Forex trading? I mean, some people swear by it. I've never thought the stock market is the best place to make money. It's very, it's an efficient market, and the things that aren't efficient, you probably don't have access to. Some people would argue. Some, but there's people out there making money every day with Forex. Um, it's just, it's, it's, look, there is no thing that makes more money than others. Um, the richest man in the world made money with an online store. The second richest person in the world made money with Louis Vuitton, luxury good. The third richest person in the world made money with ketchup, credit cards, Bank of America, car insurance, Geico. You know, some people, one of the richest women in history made it with tights that make your legs and waist look skinnier. Spanx, she made a billion dollars. So it's, it's not so much the thing. People go like, oh, what do you think? I mean, why don't you just... There's somebody who made a million dollars in T-shirts, in whiteboards, in laptops, in check print, in printing. Somebody made money. They made a million dollars from these glasses wipes right here. There's a billionaire in the glasses industry or close to a billionaire. There is no thing that works better than another thing. We get, you know where that myth comes from? College. People start researching. I knew a girl. She told me she wants to be what, what, is a certain kind of nurse. It was like a anesthesiologist nurse. And I said, why? Are you interested in that? She's like, no, I Googled it. And the average nurse makes $60,000. And the average nurse who does anesthesiology makes 68000 And I'm going, really? You think that's how the world works? That it's that automated? Where you just go, I am taking this degree, therefore I will have eight grand higher income than other people. No, it doesn't work that way. There's a lot of things. For example, if you know communication negotiation, you can negotiate for a higher salary. Forget what Google says. Google's just averaging things together, you know? So, yeah. What are top three starter businesses? Top three starter businesses, social media marketing is good. Drop shipping is getting harder. I mean, look, I still make 
thirty to a hundred thousand dollars a day with drop shipping and um, e-com. You know, drop shipping and e-com are kind of related. Uh, so I'm still making money with it, but we got. I had a big head start. It should have started when I told you to start, 2016. Um, but I think definitely um, social media marketing agency is still good. Affiliate, like this cash flow program I built is amazing. It's working as I predict. I wasn't sure it was going to work, but it's working. And um, a third thing, I mean, you can learn real estate. The thing about real estate is you have limited options when you don't have much money or experience or good credit. But you can improve and you can build. I mean, my first real estate student who did wholesaling made $25,000 his first month, but not everybody did that. You know, it's a little bit of a crapshoot. But in the long run, you do want to learn physical assets like real estate too. You want to all, everybody who's financially secure has some real estate just because people always have to have a place to live. Okay. Um, Amazon FBA. Sure. Amazon Airbnb is good for real estate. That's a better play for real estate now. Anyway, I think I'm going to go. Thank you guys for being here. And um, yeah, goodbye.